Now, for the rest of the hour, we're going to uh, be getting in to this with Jennifer Jones. And I actually have the World Net Daily article here, Nazi police kidnap woman at Town Hall. That's what happened. Uh, that's what it is. Official oppression is a form of kidnapping. Uh, it's like cops that pull up in front of topless bars when the drunk dancers come out. They say, honey, you're going to service me in the back of the car. That happens all the time. Uh, it says, I'm not going to quit until I see them in jail. The small town in Arizona is suddenly a YouTube sensation after a town hall meeting de uh, devolved into a physical clash. Phys they always call it a clash. They, they grabbed her. Uh, was forcibly removed for speaking during a public portion of the event. Jennifer J. Jones, 45, of Quartzsite, Arizona, was taken into custody by local police at the behest of uh, of the council members who did not want her to be able to speak over the objections of the mayor who pleaded with officers not to remove the woman. Now, you've studied this case. Uh, I want to give people the, uh, the, the, the news behind the news on what happened here. Right. This, this starts off in April of 08. And uh, Alex, it's insane. Um, basically, Jennifer Jones is a lady who came, moved to Quartzsite with her husband to start a dog grooming business or to, to keep her dog grooming business going. She kind of wanted to go semi-retired and just live life. And so in April of 08, she witnesses a code enforcement officer and a policeman harassing one of her neighbors. And instead of turning the other cheek... They can't let the ants get together. Oh, exactly. And so instead of minding her own business and turning her head, she stays and is a witness. And so her neighbor comes up and says, what should I do? And she says, well, you know, you need to work with them now, but you know, you need to, I'll, I'll be a witness for you. We'll, we'll work on your rights. And so then the code enforcement officer and the policeman turned to her and said, well, what can we get you with? So they start harassing her. Um, she's been called a transient because her business is mobile. She has a uh, RV and a trailer, and she moves them around wherever she gets the best rates. What's well, yeah, they that? destroy the economy and then uh, treat you like a gypsy for, right. for, for, for if you live in, a, live in a shack or have a mobile business. And, and so she's been up fighting these people, and it's, it's police chief, it's code enforcement, it's the city council, and most of the city council... It's a mafia. Yeah, they've essentially set up shop in Quartzsite, and they don't want anybody messing with what they're doing, which is probably, you know, raising the water rates. They just raise those up. Um, they took this public prosecutor who uh, they've just hired, and this guy was is being investigated right now. So they hired him because he's doing exactly what they want because their original prosecutor wouldn't go after Jennifer Jones. And so this is all built up to a head. She started her own newspaper, you know, the Daily Free, the Desert Freedom Press, and um, she started writing about this stuff. And people started coming to her with their problems. So she's kind of becoming this pro se, uh, you know, quasi pro se attorney. She's standing up. Exactly. And, and, and she's walking right. tall. And the next thing is they come into her business taking photos, tell that story, and then they go back and, and then and revoke her license stamping. Right. The code enforcement officer's out there taking photos of her business, and she said, what are you doing? You're trespassing. And she asked them to leave. Well, then the cops show up, and they side with the code enforcement officer and take her to jail for disrupting what it ends up being, disrupting uh, an official business. But at, at that point also, um, there was another incident where they wanted to come in and look at her business, and she said, not without a warrant. And they said, no, we don't need a warrant. And they walked right in, and... Um, she said, no, I have a business license. I have every right to be here because they wanted to try to say the property she was on is not zoned for a business, even though it's a swap meet center where they have swap meets every Saturday, Sunday. Sheriff of Nottingham behavior. <laughs> exactly. So then the code enforcement officer goes into the court records or the county records and, and actually writes on there, revokes her business license and signs it. And then when she goes back to get it this uh, past July, um, it was up this, this July that we're in now. And they said, no, you can't get one. You know, it's well, that's like good. the story out of uh, Oak Park, Michigan, where they put these little vegetable boxes out in front of the house. It looked very nice. Uh, somebody didn't like it, and it, it, it actually says that it can have gardens, uh, but uh, it quotes the court enforcement guy saying, I've decided you can't. Right. Well, this gets even weirder. In, in January of, uh, of this year, the police chief gets up and he starts reading about crime statistics and stuff like that. And then at the end, he goes, well, I got something I want to bring to your attention. And he talks about uh, what was written in her paper. Uh, one of the writers, and he mentions her name. He's, and this is right after the shooting, the Gifford shooting. He says, um, you know, he starts equating what they're saying against, you know, police corruption and, uh, and, and official corruption. Starts equating them to Jared Loeffner, trying to say this is what's going to happen if we don't put a stop to this. So basically, if you speak out against what's going on, you're suddenly Jared Loeffner. No, that's what they teach cops now. Who is a mind Anybody that talks about freedom wants to kill the cops. Exactly. And, and, and so 
from there, then you get to the court case where, or the, or the case at, in uh, city council where she wants to stand up. She's been recognized by the mayor, who's doing and something elected. worse. The citizens are now electing good people. Exactly, they've elected a mayor. They're taking their town back. Uh, uh, uh. Right. You can't have that because you have this appointed city council. They've all appointed their friends so they can run the mafia. And uh, they don't want her to speak, so they start calling out motions. They start telling the cops to grab her. And uh, so they take her away, but they didn't charge her with anything. So I guess she might be char uh, filing kidnapping charges. Is, is She's got to do it with the state police. Let's play a short clip of her being arrested, and then we'll go to Jennifer Jones. Uh, the, there's a whole bunch of these clips shot from different angles. Must be 20 different videos online, but uh, here's one of them right now. Uh, no, I have the floor. What's this? Officer, that woman has the floor. Hit pause. The mayor, the mayor is saying, I have control of the meeting. It's her turn to speak. Let her speak. And the police are grabbing at the microphone right. with her as she's trying to talk because obviously she's with Al-Qaeda. Uh, Jared Lee Lofter talking is evil. Uh, let's go ahead and play the rest of it. No, you may not. You may, you may go to the back of the room, sir. It's my meeting. This is my meeting. The mayor says, my meeting. And they arrest her. <laughs> or detain her. Yeah. They do it. She gets treated for a sprained elbow after this incident. I'm in charge of this meeting. Will you sit down? Well, they are grabbing her. This lady has the floor. She's exercising her. That's the police chief right there. Hey. Of course, these tyrants act like this. If they'd have just left her alone, it wouldn't have got all the attention. Exactly. But no, I mean. People here tonight is what a tax. The majority of this council has moved. There's no motion in front of the council right now. It paused. Yeah, the rules are once it's in front of the council, right. you have to hear it. Yeah. And, and it's her time to speak, but now they're saying, no, we're not going to do that. They're now voting, and of course, she's talking about their corruption. Right. And so yeah. they don't want this being discussed, and they want to run out of town because she's got this newspaper. Uh, let's continue, and then we'll go to her. Here it is. This is called to the public. I have been writing model ordinances yes. for the last the decade. Motion, the second of their you motion. can't make motions during calls to the public. That's yeah. not on the agenda. This is yeah. 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 Right statutory. As staff informed everyone, this is a framework. This tax is not mandated. You are in violation of my rules of order, Sergeant. You're not going to talk about taxes in America. They arrest her right here. Now they grab her. The officer. Everybody always, sir, sir, but they treat us like trash. Here she goes. The mayor is saying, let her speak. The mayor's saying, stop it. That's enough. It goes on, and they take her, uh, to take her out. Uh, let's go to uh, Jennifer Jones. Jennifer, what happened once they, uh, once they drug you out of there? Hey, good afternoon, Alex. I just, first of all, I just want to say thank you for shining a spotlight on what's happening here because I truly believe that cockroaches run from the light. Um, <laughs> what, what happened was I thought that they were just going to remove me from the meeting. And so I thought they were just going to throw me out the door and shut the door on me. Uh, I got outside, and then at no time did they ever tell me I was under arrest. And my understanding is you're either free to go or you're under arrest. Now they're God. You know, so I'm waiting for those, those magic words, you're under arrest, but I never heard them. I heard stop resisting the officer. They always do that. And, you know, all of that nonsense. But they took me outside, and my husband and another gentleman were standing right there, and, um, and they handcuffed me. I, they, they had pulled me out by my arms, uh, especially the, the one uh, tall uh, Officer Patterson, uh, shoved me outside, and then he twists my arm up behind my back, and he says, relax, relax. And I said, I am relaxed. And he says, no, relax, relax. But he's twisting my arm a direction it doesn't want to go, and he's already twisted it. That's all direction. part of the mind game, so after he beats right. you up, he can charge you with something. Right, so they handcuffed me, and they walked me around to the, the uh, woman uh, officer, uh, Garcia, walks me around to the back of the building, and then she writes me a ticket for disorderly conduct, which I, w I thought was really strange. Because first, I, I didn't know if I was, now that they've handcuffed me, but they still never said I was under arrest. She said, well, will you sign the ticket? And, and last time they tried to pull this, they invented 
some crazy uh, misdemeanor that I didn't even know what it meant. So I refused to sign the ticket until they told me who made the complaint and what it meant, and I went to jail for that, too. Uh, but this time, I'm like, well, if I don't sign this ticket and they take me to jail, I may not get medical attention in jail. So I'm like, yeah, I'll sign the ticket. You know, it's on videotape, multiple videotapes. I even asked her, is your badge cam on? And she said yes, and I said, good, I can't wait to get that video. So they released me to the uh, the ambulance service that took me to the county hospital. I knew it wasn't broken, but I felt like something had torn in my elbow, maybe a tendon or a ligament or something. You've been taught a lesson, yeah. And uh, I'm sorry, what? You, well, you're evil. Please continue. Yes, I, I'm, I'm horribly evil. I've, uh, the, the people that have been trying to take back our little desert community have been called by the council anarchists, seditionists, mob, um, you know. Uh, well, I mean, they called George Washington that, too. St stay right there. I'm in good company. <laughs> yes, Jennifer Jones is our guest. We'll be right back with uh, her and also Rob Dew, a uh, reporter and camera guy here at InfoWars.com. And we'll be right back on the other side. We'll have her for two more segments in an eight after next hour. Bob Chapman and a huge news blitz on so many key fronts. They got money to arrest her, but they don't have money to keep the space. There's shot. nothing more dangerous than these entitled bureaucrats who think they own and run everything. And I'm seeing videos all the time where city council people are beating each other up and uh, uh, police are arresting mayors when they're criticizing. Remember that video? And they beat the mayor up where government is just going nuts. And as the economy implodes, it's only going to get crazier. Uh, talking to um, Jennifer Jones from Quartzsite, Arizona, and the story the last four or five days that's uh, been one of the biggest on the Internet, describe the town, describe what's going on, describe the different power structures and why they, were, why they didn't want you to speak. What were they so scared of? Well, uh, our new budget is being proposed right now, and we had had a work session on it a couple of days earlier. Of course, they try and plan a lot of these these uh, special meetings and work sessions early in the day when people are at work so they can't attend. I'm self-employed, and I can, I can be there. And uh, the mayor had only gotten the budget packet the night before, and he had done a horrible thing and shared it with some of us in the community so that we could see what was being proposed. So several of us showed up to the, the budget proposal, and some things started to look a little interesting to us. And I was trying to figure out how they had balanced the budget when we had borrowed a couple of million dollars from the State Highway User Revenue Fund just to balance the budget the year before. Of course, they keep those state highway funds commingled with our general fund, shifted money from that commingled fund to pay for water and sewer, then they have no repayment plan to pay it back. And, and they go, but, but it's not illegal what we're doing. It's just creative math. And uh, I, I had noticed that they had put this proposed ex, uh, privilege tax into this uh, evening's session that they were going, it appeared very clearly that they were going to pass a 2.5% tax and expand the, uh, the types of categories of businesses that will be included in Arizona's privilege tax. Right now it's only motels, campgrounds, certain activities, very specific activities. So basically every business in the town almost would have had a 2.5% tax increase even businesses that are not subject to sales tax. And you sell. thought as a citizen and taxpayer you would talk? Yeah. I mean, do you so think I mean, you're an America lady? Are you crazy? <laughs> no, you don't, you don't get America to talk about them uh, <laughs> bloating the government and, and, and taxing you and feeding on you and getting raises. What, 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 do you, what happened, Alex, that night wasn't an accident. What happened that night, people have to understand, this was very well planned out. Um, two days before this meeting, the police chief and his sergeant and the building official slash assistant town manager had hooked up cameras in the meeting room for the first time in years and gotten the cameras going, and they thought on the instant replay they might catch some of us anarchists and seditionists, you know, speaking out of turn or something in the audience. Maybe they were going to go back and write us tickets and, and beat us down some more. But it... And, Sometimes, uh, you know, instant replay means the other team gets the ball. And in this case, they got caught breaking the law and they got caught being out of control. But they were under an ob obligation to put this police chief on administrative leave. Eighty percent of his police force went to ASCOPS, their state union, filed criminal and ethical misconduct charges on him about a month ago. It, their own procedure manual said that if an officer is under investigation for criminal conduct, if there's an allegation made, he's supposed to be placed on paid administrative leave while an outside law enforcement agency investigates the complaint. Instead of putting the police chief on leave, the mayor called a meeting to do it, and they wouldn't show up to the meeting. 
So then at the regular So meeting, World Net Daily is them. right when they talk about kidnapping and mutiny. I mean, this is just even 80% yes. of the cops are saying he's got to go. And Absolutely. it's like, no. And the mayor says, be quiet, let her talk. And he says, no. Well, why not just make the police chief God? I mean, not just king. Why don't we, why don't we make him king of Courtsville? Courtside. Well, actually, it's kind of interesting. A woman named Violet Kiss, who's a supporter of the small group. Tell you, what, tell you what, stay there back in one minute. Uh, I want to hear about our new well, king. A lot of family that lives in different parts of Texas. They're just raising the taxes everywhere. People are going bankrupt. Everything's falling apart. And government doesn't care because they're in there. Anytime you investigate, break in state, local law, stealing the money. Because folks now just say, that's the government building. That's where the king lives. You don't go, and, and so you do show up in a lot of these things, and they go, you think you're going to talk about the taxes and say you don't want them? You're going to jail. You don't do that in America. And, and you heard the police chief got up and said, these people may want to kill cops. Yeah. Uh, you you want to, in, in, in previous speeches, you want to talk about cutting taxes or not having us raise them? You're evil. Going back to Jennifer Jones from Courtside, Arizona, uh, I, I, I brought up the fact that why not make this, the council members who don't like the mayor and the police chief, why not just go ahead and admit that actually Christ may have returned to earth and that he may be living in courtside and may be the police chief. Did you ever think about that, that you may be engaged in blasphemy right now? Yes, because someone wrote that in, in one of our local papers. They actually compared the police chief to Jesus Christ, and they said at the end of Christ's days before the crucifixion, he didn't have very many followers either, just like the poor police chief. Jennifer, so I'd never read this or known this. I was <laughs> joking about the Jesus thing. I didn't know what you were going to say after the break. I didn't, I didn't no, talk to you during the break, did you? I couldn't make this up, Alice. I really couldn't make this up. One woman, Violet Kiss, has been writing the media, mainstream media newspapers, saying they're just disgruntled officers. Their criminal complaints of his abuse of NCIC against political opponents is just because he didn't give them a raise. And then this other woman, Hygieia Half Moon, wrote a letter comparing the chief of police to Jesus Christ. I almost fell out of my chair when I read it uh, yesterday, and I thought... You know, we know they're not, we truly believe these people are not mentally well, some of them. Well, how do you know he's not? Wait, are you a conspiracy theorist? You know, Alex, uh, I didn't used to be, but uh, once I, I was uh, in the National Forest and saw black gloves special ops ICS teams pointing guns at hippies in the forest who were praying for peace, I said, okay, maybe there is something to some of this. Oh, no, no, but I'm saying you're a conspiracy theorist and that you're denying that he may be Christ. Well, yes, I, I, I don't believe that he's Christ. Um, oh, you know. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> And I'm sorry, I, you know, she, what, what can so I now, say? So now, so, 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 so the camp that wants him to be, uh, I mean, I was being sarcastic saying he'll be our king. You said, oh, no, let me tell you, when we come back, well, I didn't didn't talk to you. So I made the joke of that. He's not just a police officer. He may not just be a king, but God. The coming of and, Christ, and, yeah. and so he is now called God there. So 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 where are you going from here? Are you going to charge him with uh, kidnapping? Well, I'm, I'm going to, I'm, I've got the forms to fill out the complaint forms because I want to make sure that nothing is thrown out for lack of correct protocol. You know, we're dealing with the government here, and it's a far stretch to ask the government to protect you from the government. But I am going to file a complaint with DPS, the state police, uh, and with the state attorney general and with the Arizona Department, uh, Division of the U.S. Justice Department, for what happened at this meeting and um, some of the other meetings and make sure that so I'm basically that now you're like the uh the high priest in 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 in, in jerusalem that called for christ to be arrested the, the man yeah it's it's pretty much the mayor and i have become sort of and and one or two other people who are willing to take the heat and put themselves out there have become the front line of defense for a couple thousand you've got a question to, uh, to this the, the, this accuser of christ yes uh one of the two people you were talking about do they uh, attend the free coffee and donuts seminar held once a month by the police chief oh absolutely he's That's got he's got a group of apostles i mean followers that regularly show up to the meetings and applaud for him. They show up to his little coffee and donut feed, and they gaze adoringly at him and applaud for him. Well, of course, I recognize that he's the Christ. They took me out of the meeting. Oh, you got one more point? Go ahead. I was going to go ahead and just plug her website where you can keep reading up about all this stuff at the desert, the desert freedom press dot blogspot dot com. Or just search the desert freedom press. Uh, stay there. Let me say body on the other side. Get Bob Chapman's take on this and, 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 and put a bookend on it.
I can't believe, folks, we are talking to someone that is denying that the Messiah has returned. This is an extreme with us, uh, do. Uh, we're talking to uh, Jennifer Jones, uh, an evil person uh, who tried to speak at the city council meeting um, in the proper time to speak and criticized the police. And uh, the police came and arrested her, even though the mayor said she can speak, even though she was, wasn't was cussing anything. And a lot of folks are saying that's good. I mean, you don't talk in America. <laughs> I heard a conspiracy theory that folks used to have be able to talk in America at a city council meeting. Yeah, well, some of the people in there are actually sheep, and they clapped when she was being let out. And that... Uh, it's, it's ridiculous. that We're minions, yay, destroy all the freedom. That's the thing. People are trained. Move along. Don't look. It's police business. Move along. But then it's I was making the joke, though. I was making the joke going, you know, into the last uh, break of the previous hour that and why not just make the police chief king then? If, if he tells yeah. the mayor, go take a hike. And she said, oh, no, actually, in the local paper, they say he's like Jesus. Uh, repeat that, Jennifer Jones, for us. I'd like to... I'd like you to email me a copy of that because, you know what, maybe they're right. I mean, this could be could be the second coming. Well, um, it's. Uh, I think you can read the uh, the uh, comment on the other free newspaper in town. Uh, you have to uh, realize that the front page ads are from Councilman Lucasen, and the uh, real estate ad is from Vice Mayor Barbara Cowell. And so it's a very subsidized free publication, but it's called uh, the Desert Messenger. .blogspot.com. And, and there we learn about the police chief, uh, maybe Christ. Okay. Right, and on the left-hand side, it'll say click here to read the current edition. So all of your listeners can go to, they call it ironically the people's voice, except they've, they've uh, had a bad habit of censoring the voice of the people on our side of the dialogue, which is why I started my little newspaper. And I think if you really want to put a, a, a bookend on this and start to understand what's going on and why Quartzsite would be doing this, you have to realize that we sit about 90 miles from the Mexican border, right on U.S. 95, north and south, and at Interstate 10, east and west. You can move anything through this area, and even though it's out in the middle of the desert, and it's full of people in motorhomes with solar power who live off the grid, and homeowners who want to keep their wells and not tie into city water, there seems to be, it, all, it always goes back to follow the money and location, location, location. We've been asking ourselves, why would these council members risk the incorporation, risk the insurance, risk everything for a $300 a month stipend? You know, we wanted to know where the money's going. That's what the mayor wants. Well, ma'am, as you said, the police chief, what, last year uh, or earlier this year, you know, said that you guys might be violent yes. um, because you're, you're, you're speaking about freedom and, and, and compared you to Jerry Lee Loeffner. And I, I think if the Christ, according to them, says this, it may be true. Listen, I, I, I want you to plug your website one more time where folks can... Uh, your terror site, I'm sorry, ha having your own printing press is very Al-Qaeda-ish. Uh, tell us about this evil thing you've got. Okay, well, first of all, I actually don't even have my own printing press. It's printed outside of the county. I just, I'm just the writer and, and the, uh, you know, the organizer, I suppose, the publisher. Uh, but it's, uh, the online version is at the, the Desert Freedom Press dot blogspot dot com. That's HTTP colon backslash backslash the Desert Freedom Press dot blogspot. Com. Okay. It's a small liberty based, you know, independent. Uh, uh, ma'am, ma'am, we got FCC rules. You cannot say dirty words here on air like uh, liberty. Oop, oops. Another <laughs> FCC fine. Ma'am, I really want to thank you for what you've done, and we'll continue to watch this as it unfolds. Thank you for joining thank us. Thank you so much, Alex. You have a great day. You too.